Welcome back to Division 2. This is DJ Kano. Thank you for checking out my channel. I am going to do another build video, and this is going to be about the uh, the Mantis build. It is an older build for sure, but I do want to share all of my builds at some point before I can tear them down and start making some new ones with the new items that are coming in Season 4. So this is a Man the Mantis, is the exotic sniper rifle, and I'm getting destroyed. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. I mean, I kind of want to keep that on the video just because that was hilarious. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Like, my controller started shaking and I had no idea what's going on and I had to get out of photo mode. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep that on the cut. I'm not going to take that out. That was just pretty funny. So, let's get out of here and get back there. I'm going to go back to Grand Washington Hotel. Let's see if they're still waiting for me outside there. Those rushers with the electric batons. Yeah, so this is again, like I said, the Mantis from the uh, one of the previous seasons. I believe season two. I don't think it was season three because the backfire and stuff was this past season. So these guys are gone. All right, let's try this again. Boom, Mantis. It's called the, I call it the Prey Hunter build. Uh, this one's a pretty basic build. I think a lot of people had uh, multiple variations of their own for this build. Centered around the Mantis, of course, because the Mantis has this headshot kills, reset the cooldown of the decoy skill. The bonus will wait until the decoy goes on cooldown if currently active. So if, because of that, I think a lot of people were trying to run the decoy. Um, maybe people break away from it because it, it didn't seem to work all that great sometimes. Uh, keep in mind, if I get headshots uh, against guys that are not looking at me or targeting me, then I get extra bonus uh, weapon damage. And of course, it gives me extra information. So I think it has a targeting uh, crosshair on top of it. So that's also kind of nice. So I got that. Like I said, running the decoy with it. Uh, this also came out the same season with the perfect headhunter, the headhunter talent, the chain killer Walker Harris uh, chest piece. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that uh, killing blows damage. So depending on what kind of damage it, it gave, you can get up to 800%. Uh, but if you have uh, headshot damage overall greater than 150%, you can get 1250 on a higher cap. So basically, you can get a second shot if you get a headshot kill with massive, massive damage. So it benefits you to try and shoot headshots. Uh, I'm not usually the type to do that. Uh, but anyway, so Perfect Vigilance gives me weapon damage if I don't get any hits on top of my my uh, avatar. So taking damage disables the buff at three seconds if I do take damage. Uh, the gift is the DZ exclusive ch uh, backpack, uh, the gift from the Providence uh, gear set. And I'm not uh, using a great one here. Unfortunately, it's not rolled the best but it's okay it's decent enough and i just wanted to run that perfect vigilance uh, because it's providence i get headshot damage crit ch crit chance and crit damage so i want to run a three piece i got the face mask here uh double max roll not a god roll uh, i got a god roll for the holster providence and i'm running a god roll for the seska pretty much everything's gonna just have crit damage or headshot damage and of course i'm running a god roll as far as knee pads because for the knee pads uh they added the talent here where if you don't move uh, every second, you get 3% weapon damage. I can get up to 30% weapon damage if I can stay in cover and not move. So it's great for sniping. Uh, the blue roll is unfortunate. I don't think it really helps me with armor at all. Um, I'll pretend that it does. And basically, that's it. You know, I got the lucky shot just as a backup. I got the bakers over here in case they do rush me and I, I can't be sniping at a close range. So I got the bakers without a scope on it. And I run the chem launcher riot foam because if uh, depending where I'm at, I can probably stick a guy to and try to blast them with the headshot from from whatever range and i'm running the uh sharpshooter because the sharpshooter will give me bonuses for marksman rifles and etc etc so this is the build it's pretty simple all red uh running chain killer chain killer or even just a regular head hunter whatever your your fancy is and uh most people might they might run maybe a couple more uh walker instead of providence so maybe they're running damage to armor and damage to health instead of running the crits but I'm running crits. I like the crits. It tends to give me more boost here. Uh, you could run Grupo instead of Seska. So as a Grupo will give you the crit damage instead of the 10% crit chance. So you can totally do that too. Um, for me, this works okay. I might change the Grupo. The damage might give me a little bit more oomph. Uh, stats, right? So I'm running for the headshot damage. If I run over 150, I'll get up to a 12-50% cap. I got 228, so I'm definitely good. 45 crit chance, 152 crit damage. So I'm doing okay with my crits, and I kind of like it. So uh, if, if I kill the right guy with the right headshot, I can at the very least clean out a named boss on Heroic, clean out their armor completely, 
uh, I drop their health pretty low. Um, sometimes if I'm lucky, if, especially if I can get a, a, a really good headshot on the main boss or on a on an elite, I might be able to get uh, one hit kills. And if I get a one hit kill with a headshot, it just keeps going. Headshot to headshot to headshot, and I'll just keep getting that high damage. So that's the hope. So let's go and check it out. Let's test it out. And we'll do it on this invaded mission. Um, I got to be careful. I'm running solo, and I don't have a reviver hive. So that's definitely something you got to be super careful about. Okay, so it's easy to die with this build. Headshot, headshot. So I didn't have to get the headshot with that one because I already had the bonus from the headhunter. So I see I got the bonus right now so I can do another headshot and it progresses to my next shot. So I keep that damage and the headhunter is ready to go. If I didn't want to, I just wanted to kill him fast, I can take the body shot and he will go down because the headhunter gave me that bonus. But I wouldn't have the next shot held right now for the next the next NPC to kill. So I do have it. So I'm going to try to see if I can just keep going headshot to headshot to headshot. But if not, I just got to be aware of that, that I'm not going to do a lot of damage. Okay, so let's see headshot. Oh, someone's right behind me. Got to be careful. That's why you have the bakers. Oh, he wants to come up. He wants to come up and play. He wants to come up too. All right. So I'm a sniper. I can't really do much. I need got shotguns and this is heroic. So I definitely want to do this. So that counts as a headshot too. But I got a little bit jumpy. So I don't know if that would really work and prop that. So it doesn't have to be a headshot with the Mantis. This is just an opportunity to utilize the Mantis. Okay, so those guys were shotgunners, no matter. No, no wonder they did that. So he wasn't looking at me, so I had those extra crosshairs up there. Alright, so so far so good. It's working the way I want it to work. But then again, I only had um, low-level NPCs. No, no heavy guys up here, so this is where it's going to get heavy. Okay, so we're going to start getting some veterans and elites, and that's where it's going to get a little dicey. Okay, so I want to get watch the turret. I missed. That was horrible. Got the headshot. Boom. He's got a drone. Got him. Okay, so who's in front of me? That's close. So I'm, I'm, I, if I have to move, then that's not good because I'm not getting my uh, storage knee pads. Okay, so I got the decoy. Maybe that'll help distract a little bit. Okay, so I hit a red, and I got that headshot. I want to try to get a headshot before I hit the name boss. So I can get the headhunter to help me take him out, right? So I got the headshot there. Stand up. Stand up, buddy. My decoy went away. Let's wait for the decoy to come back. Oh, we got a sniper. Yeah, one shot because the headhunter uh, talent was up. I want to get that guy. Okay, so. Oh, chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, so when they're close, I got my backup weapon. It's working out the way it's supposed to. So if I can get that shot, all right. Decoy is getting damage right now. Let's see if I can hit him. I missed. That was horrible. There we go. I slammed his armor. I got one more red up there. Okay, let's wait for my... Let's wait for my uh, decoy to come back and help me out a little bit. Okay, so this is definitely not rush play. This is not going to be good for rushing. Stand up. Give me that headshot. Boom. So I got it saved, and I can try to get him... Oh. Okay, decoy's out. Let's see if he shoots my decoy for a second. So I have the headhunter saved right now, right? He's a one-trick pony, so I can get up a little bit more. Okay. So if I can get the head shot. Boom. Okay, so that, that headhunter, that was a perfect example of the headhunter in play. So if you're careful and you can get those shots, this is a great... A build uh, if you run with a cool team that doesn't just shred everything and um, 
sometimes your teammates get a little bit over over anxious and they'll they'll just start rushing and shredding stuff you don't have a chance to take time to get a headshot yeah so you got to be careful when uh running with your teammates that are just trying to fly through not great for speed runs because of that reason because your team's going to want to fly through um but it's a fun build if you're not the type to actually go after the um the headshots this is a great way to practice for whatever whatever weapon if you can do it with a sniper you can most likely do it with other weapons as well of getting that that focus so nothing great here so okay but yeah that was a that was a good example of using the mantis with the headhunter and a lot of people don't like the mantis but this is heroic and uh, basically the two elites the named boss and the big elite it only took two shots technically because you saw me hit that first shot and I cracked his armor initially. Once I got the other headshots and got that major talent with the headhunter, if I hit that headshot on the second one, yeah, I took them out pretty quickly. So this this Mantis can do damage, even though I think a lot of people don't think they don't think that it can. It's not the nemesis at all. And it still isn't. Even with, with those those kills, the two shot kills, it's still not the nemesis. I might have been able to get the get the one hit kill with the nemesis, but um, when you have rushers and other things coming at you and uh, unless you're really good with the sniping, the Mantis is good for a slightly more quick scoping. So, yeah, I, I recommend checking it out. If you have not put a Mantis build together or people just, you know, haven't used it because of what other people have said about it, it, it can work. You can definitely make it work. So give it a shot. Maybe a three-piece Walker, a three-piece Providence, and maybe Sawyer's knee pads or run a Grupo Seska, and you should be totally fine. All right, guys, that is the Prey Hunter build. Thank you for checking it out. I hope that it comes in handy for some people that want to give sniping a shot. Gives you a new way to play the game, basically. You know, you don't always have to rush and status effect and just blast things. If you want to take your time, try to get those headshots and become a little bit... You can go ahead and use the Mantis for that, you know. Uh, definitely, definitely check it out. All right. Good luck, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully with new builds, new gear from Season 4.